No, I'm all good. I'm videoing this now. <laughs> Strawberry, ice cream, midsummer's the tree Sipping in between, long days, warm ice Gliding like light kites, sapphires, clear skies Whipped cream, cherry pies Ooh, every year right around June 21st Ooh, I slip in my swimsuit, dive in head first Everything's coming up, roses Secrets, whispering, sprinklers, bare feet, fingers, running through vineyards. Ooh, every year, right around June 21st. Ooh, I smoke the nice swimsuit, diving head first. Everything's coming up, roses. Did you ever feel like the world is? Hello everyone, this is CC Amethyst and days leading up to the runway show, I had to go and buy three pairs of shoes to decorate for the models to wear. And prior of this decision, we had to have a fitting session and discussion with our lecturer to see what shoes are suitable for the runway and other accessories for the models to wear. So I spent a couple days getting the shoes and decorating them with all these fun ribbons and I just had to drop them off at the studio where our garments were hung up. And on the day of the fashion show, these racks would be real to the backstage of our fashion show and today was also move out day with my friends <laughs> we all gathered all our equipment downstairs and helped each other move our stuff and we had another friend drive her van to come pick us up and drop us all back show you the bag I was carrying me with that day because I customized an extra strap on the bag which is the one with the twisted cord and pearls and added a little crochet bow that I actually bought for one of my followers as moral support. Now for the actual runway show it actually started at 6 p.m but we had to arrive early in the day and basically be there for the whole day and help prepare for the show and we also had a mini rehearsal show at 4 p.m where I was able to invite some of my friends and family and also my high school textiles teacher which was such a full circle moment because it was in her class that I kind of fell in love with the design and sketching process of fashion. Oh, <laughs> 
sure. And then security. Show me your hats, man. Oh my god. I'm gonna steal. No. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna be wearing for the top, the skirt over this to give it a bit of layer and guys, there's a big pocket. I can put my whole life in here. So I'm like not gonna bring a purse because I have two gigantic pockets. This is what was meant for my fashion degree, you know. Okay, I need to go get ready Can I find to go to the bank. Here inside of my heart I wish the paint would stay away Just for the night It'll be alright Wish I could hold on to All of my class comes right back to you Safe yeah. is inside both of our eyes Cause this is what it feels like to be in love Before wrapping up my journey as a fashion design student who is now graduated, I thought I would take the time to thank you guys so much if you have been watching me along the way. And I thought to wrap up this video and series as a whole that I would give you a full rundown of the story and meaning behind this collection while you watch the speed painting of my design process. Now the starting point of this collection originated from me wanting to find my voice and style in fashion and one of my initial key factors was discovering my love for styling different types of clothing and mainly dressing in a way that makes me feel confident and uplift my mood. So in fashion term that is called dopamine dressing where you dress to make yourself feel more positive and happier making it a really personal connection with the clothing therefore this became the foundation to my design concepts and when I was researching into historic references I researched into Marie Antoinette. Some would call her controversial but she's also a very prominent fashion figure and influence on our fashion even today. Now the controversy is that she allegedly caused the downfall of the economy and monarchy of France due to her excessive spending on extravagant clothing and accessories. So you would basically call her a maximalist fashion gal. She was basically indulging in all these materialistic goods, dressing up in hopes of making herself feel better, which is also a form of escapism from her royal duties. So with the way that Marie Antoinette dresses, it aligns with my concept ideas, which then led me to use the style of clothing that she wore to influence my designs. This is why in my sketches you can see that I'm focusing on the volume of the dresses, specifically aiming in the hip area, adding lots of ruffles, bows, and exploring all sorts of silhouettes. Now upon learning about the history of Marie Antoinette and the concept of escapism, that was another layer added to my concept story because one of the key factors to my development of love for fashion is rooted in the concept of escapism because from a very young 
age, I always had a love for fashion. And as I grew up and started facing some darker periods of my life, I always subconsciously turned to fashion and use it as a form of escapism. And I also use the form of creating art to help with this process. This is where I illustrate my raw and deep sad feelings into artworks as a method to process my dark emotions, flush out all the negative energy, and use fashion to dress up in extravagant ways to make myself feel better, to put in the positive energy in place of the negative ones. This then led me to research the concept of art therapy, which is a legitimate therapy process. So instead of communicating all your thoughts and feelings, the therapist directs the client through a creative process like creating art, and whatever is created from the person, it is then dissected with the therapist to find the underlying meaning and symbol behind what they drew and find out their subconscious thoughts and feelings to then tackle the problems that they needed to in therapy. So this led me to incorporate the concept and research of art therapy into my fashion collection. I curated a selection of my digital art that was created from the result of art therapy and in a certain color scheme that would look cohesive with my fashion collection. Which is why you see on screen here that these were the three artworks I ended up choosing. And because each artwork has its own individual meaning, it added an extra layer to the concept story of my fashion collection and I thought I would just briefly mention the meaning of each artwork and how it correlates with the dress that I designed for it. The artwork on the far right on the longest dress actually represents the concept of committing to loving yourself and someone else, hence the ring shown on the finger. However, the commitment to love someone else besides yourself is simply for the act of purely loving someone without the worry of whether this would end up in marriage or not because technically marriage was a political act and a social construct but obviously in modern age marrying someone is now considered as an act of committing to love someone and through the history and culture of marriage the dresses that you wear during your marriage ceremony are typically your best extravagant and most valued dress in your wardrobe which also meant the dress was never really conventionally white which is why for my design it is the most longest and extra out of the three dresses overall symbolizing the act of loving someone and yourself purely for the sake of loving. Then the artwork on the middle dress actually has the deepest and darkest negative connotation. To put simply, it represents some of the feelings I had after my breakup in my last relationship, where you are reflecting and realizing you're never gonna get your innocence back, and grieving over the fact that I have to self-soothe and face the traumas by myself, whereas the other person just had to lie, disregard my feelings, and leave with someone else. So ironically, to balance out this negative emotion, it is on the type of dress that is the most childlike, which is a baby doll dress, in hopes of getting back the purity and innocence I once had. And the last dress and artwork is the most hopeful of them all. Where it used to be taunted by nightmares, it is now hopeful dreams. Where there is now a sight for a new beginning, which is what the daisies symbolize all over the sleeves. Now, unlike my other two dresses, this one is actually the only one piece. And dresses are usually an easy piece of clothing that you can just throw on to look put together. So overall, it's an attempt to uplift ourselves and move forward for a better future. <laughs> now that is my very brief summary of the meaning and story behind my collection. Truly, thank you so much for listening and watching this journey along with me because you guys just witnessed me designing and making my first three designs and there's many more to come in the future but for now, I need to navigate my postgraduate life and try to learn how to be an adult. <laughs> so I'll definitely take you guys along the journey. Please look forward to my next videos because I am filming about, you know, me trying to get a job, guys, <laughs> and my plans for my career. If you've watched up until now, comment a little daisy flower emoji in the comments so I know you watched up until here, and let me know where you guys are at in your stage of life, whether it is studies or your career. This is officially Cece Amethyst signing out of her fashion student life from uni, and cheers to starting my adult adult life. <laughs> but before I end this video, let me show you some cute stores I found in Auckland. I cry when there's no words to say I can tell